Yes, it's good to be back, the Zacharias P. Lovish Art and Adventure. I lived in my car for five months, and it wasn't that bad. It was a little bit cold at times, kind of windy, but I was out in the desert in California and Arizona, and I went through some snow, and I was relatively comfortable. So this is about that build. It's very, very simple. Um, and I'll take you out and show you the car. And there are two setups for the car. There's one that has more space for your supplies and the other one has more space to sleep. So you can kind of see how you want to be comfortable or sacrifice comfort to get more done and be more productive. So check it out. And also I have some boogie board footage from some barrels. I caught some shore brake tubes. Check it out. Here's the first setup. Very simple. Twin bed mattress. Underneath is the plywood in two pieces. Take out the seats. I would highly recommend taking out the seats. Then you have all that space underneath. This piece folds up. And here is setup number two. Also very simple. There's a table. Space underneath. There's water. You can access the water here. There's your water. Water down coffee. The nice thing about the water there is you can access it from inside if you're sleeping and outside. I usually keep my kitchen stuff over here on that side. This is the other side. I just made a little, I don't know, support. The seat moves forward about another foot and a half. You have about seven feet of sleeping space. A piece pops in there. That's it. also have these nifty blackout things. You want to make those for sure. Get it nice and dark. I just leave this one in all the time because I don't need to see out that window, do I? Alright, so that's the car build, nothing too crazy. Uh, the reason I wanted to show you that is because I think a lot of the car builds are overdone. I think they're very cool, but in a car, unless you're three feet tall, you're probably going to want as much room as possible. And those setups usually just allow you to organize your stuff. So if you organize your stuff first, you don't really need all those compartments. That table on the side, I put all my folded clothes up on the side. And underneath I put, I don't know, tools, whatever you need. Also, my paintings go above my head, strapped to the roof. Unless they smell like fumes, in that case, I put them under the car or on the roof, depending on the weather. If it's raining, obviously, underneath. If it's windy, underneath. On the roof, as if it's sunny and temperate. So that's the car build. Thanks for checking it out. About to go boogie boarding. East Coast, wintertime, air temperature is about 48 degrees. And it looks like offshore winds howling offshore. There's a storm off the coast with about 60 to 70 mile an hour winds. Uh, it's Boogie Barrel City. So I'll try to get some footage. Check it out.
the mirror. And thanks again for tuning in to my videos. I try to keep people involved with life. Keep your chin up. Set goals. Work hard to achieve those goals. Sacrifice now for a better day tomorrow. And enjoy. Zacharias P. Lovish out.